What fetish will you keep a secret from the people you know IRL? Those sleep fantasies where you are sleeping and someone starts getting frisky with you and wakes you up a bit but you are already part way through. I constantly imagine how anyone I talk to will moan in bed. So much so as when they sigh I get an instant turn on. My wife can essentially orgasm just listening to my heartbeat. More turned on I get. Faster it gets. More turned on she gets. It's kinda interesting. But people would be. Confused. My girlfriend and I have a costume trunk. We seem like normal people. But any night we have free we role play sex together. My favorite is when she's dressed like an angel who doesn't know what sex is. And her favorite is me dressing up like a doctor and speaking in a clinical voice as her regular checkup gets out of hand lol. We've been together for some time now and it's like our go to hobby or form of entertainment. We'll even be texting ideas to one another during the workday. Honestly. It's like having several girlfriends lol. Choking. Like. My friend group makes jokes about choking sometimes. But every time I'm just sitting there like haha jk jk. Unless. I like inflatable pool toys a bit more than I'm supposed to. My IRL friends and family don't need to know that inflatables and their squeaky noises turn me on. Naked women brushing their teeth. Something about the boob jiggle and the fact them pearly whites are staying pearly is just. Just so nice. Tongues. Like. Not the muscle, organ. Specifically. But like having their tongue sticking out. Sucking it when kissing. Watching it when they talk. It why I'm strangely attracted to it and it makes me feel like people would think I'm a serial killer if they knew. My thing is letting my boyfriend do whatever he wants whenever he wants. Giving him free and total reign over my body. And the more I get him. The more I want him. I only recently learned of the term free use. And I guess it kind of falls into that. My boyfriend is the only one in the world that knows how much he owns me. This is the weirdest thing ever. But the sexiest thing to me is the mythical creature Dryad. I don't know why I want to duck a tree lady. But I definitely do. I have an authority fetish. Which I hear is fairly common. But I'm very confident and take on a leadership role outside of the bedroom. So. I enjoy playing with someone who will force me to submit to them. Which I guess is very sub behavior. But it's specifically someone who is in a position of power over me. Like an officer in the military slash police or a boss in the workplace. Additionally and occasionally. Making those same people my slave for a night. But that's fairly rare. Tickling men. I do not know why I don't want anyone to know this IRL and would rather have my fetish for tying up men be known than that. Maybe. It is because tickle fetish is not that common. And thanks to a documentary. Tickle fetish might not be viewed in a good light. I'm, male, attracted to amputees, female. Which causes me a significant degree of guilt slash conflict finding interest and attraction in a physical feature that may have been a source of pain slash trauma. Insecurity. Etc. It's hot when my wife puts on an inflatable latex suit that makes her look spherical. In short me and my wife are into the inflation fetish. I'm a guy. My nipples being sucked is up there. I'm 6 feet 3 inches and tend to attract much smaller. Submissive women. It just doesn't really work when they try to be dominant or physical with me and I inevitably have to be the one in charge. I just want a tall. Buff woman to manhandle me for a change. Floor tiles. I don't know why I just really like how clean they look and the colors and lines. The more detailed the pattern, the better. I get really upset when the tiles get dirty. Really want to tie my boyfriend up and edge him for a while. He's hesitant because he thinks he'll do something to his butt. I have a fetish for a mom belly. Stretch marks and a saggy belly. Yo you women with stretch marks and saggy parts. I love you and I think you are beautiful. I think it's a tragedy this is not a mainstream fetish. Stop hiding you are beautiful. My recent ex was great looking but boring as hell and super vanilla in bed. Love a girl who takes charge. 
A girl I was once fooling around with in college took me by surprise and handcuffed me to the bed while I wasn't looking and then told me if I talked she would gag me. Never came harder. Didn't pursue a relationship with her though. Sex was great but her crazy extended beyond the bedroom. Ninja edit. I also love going down on women. It's my favorite and I love the reactions. The shakes. The noises. The nearly skull crushing thigh vice on my head when they cool. Literally everything about it. Most of the time I fantasize about a woman I imagine them sitting on my face versus a good old fashioned wienering. I want to peg so badly. But my husband is staunchly against me even looking at his butt. Alas. I dream. I have a cum inflation fetish. The only person IRL who knows is my wife. It probably stems from the fact that my, now ex, girlfriend and I were both virgins when we had sex. But now I have a fetish for taking a girl's virginity. Not in any kind of forceful rapey way. But in like a comforting let me walk you through this gentle kind of way. It sounds creepy just typing it for some reason. This will probably get buried because it's rather tame compared to most of the other responses here but I am huge into one piece swimsuits, specifically those you'd see in swim and triathlon meets, and leotards. Bonus points if they are worn as underwear beneath normal clothing. I love being called good girl in bed. Like excessively. Will instantly make me go from enjoying the sex to loving everything that's happening. It's like a switch flips. Oh and being completely dominated. For me. It's having to be be forced to give head. But like consensually, like talking to my partner about it. I tried to come clean about it on a group on Facebook with a really good support system but people were so quick to hop on my comment and attack me for using the wrong phrasing. I'm attracted to trans people and cross dressing. I had my BF put on one of my dresses just for shits and giggles but it led to one of my favorite sexual experiences with him by far. I have a huge fetish for dragons. Like enormous fetish. No I am not a furry. I hate people that equate the two. I just find female dragons to be unbelievably sexy and I've been like that as long as I can remember. I was always super interested in dragons as a kid. It wasn't until puberty I found out why. I know that if I tell people in real life it would probably duck up most of relationships with friends and family. I am expecting this post to get hate. If anyone even sees it. Honestly couldn't care. You'll just validate my decision to tell no one I know. I don't expect anyone to understand. But it's just the way I've always been. If I knew people would be accepting. That would make me incredibly happy. I am still attracted to human women. I've had a few good girlfriends in high school and my first year of university. But they just can't compare to the attraction I feel towards dragons. This is the second time I've put myself out there. The first time was a therapist three years ago. It would mean the world to me if people react well to my post.